Cheers, everybody. An happy on brew Wednesday to you all. We're just drinking a ruby. Get it in better picture. What is it? Ruby Red Ale. Harper's Brewing Company, 5.2%. Uh, from Aldi. I think it's £1.9 or £1.9, £1 I think it is. Can't quite remember. £1.9 or £1.49. There's a 9 in it somewhere. <laughs> Uh, right, so what we're we doing this week? Well, we've had a bit of a delivery. Got a box of bits here, and a bag, something in there. Uh, so what we're we doing tomorrow? Tomorrow I'm looking at brewing. It's Wednesday now. I'm looking at brewing. Oh no, sorry, I'm looking at brewing Friday, I think. Tomorrow, I'm going to spend day, because I haven't brewed for a long time, my hot cat's been stood, I'm going to just boil 15 litres of water or something, run it through my pump for a bit, just clean my kit up a bit, clean and sanitise and what have you, my stainless fermenter, just do a small batch, and I think I'm either going to do the Mosaic IPA that I do, or something simple, a citrus smash, or possibly the smashed IPA that I do. One of them three, uh, but I know my next three, four brews, I want to do something hoppy, I want to do something dark. Uh, like a milk stout probably something hoppy I'd like some sort of bitter I haven't really got a bitter recipe that I do on a regular basis so that's something I'd like to sort out and I might do the Irish Red Ale put that on my ample although I am thinking of uh, Maybe just buying a beer in a box to go on that for now. I think I've got everything until I've been through all my bits and I have a good day tomorrow. Uh, I won't know if I've got everything. I bought it. Have I got it down there? I don't know where I've put it. I did buy... One second. I did buy a, a check unit or demand valve. Uh, I don't know where I've bloody put it. Now, without starting to root, uh, but I have got one. Some call them check valves, some call them demand units. I have got one of them, I just need to check that I've got the fittings. But I know the last bag in a box I bought didn't have a check unit, and I just hooked up my what they call them, V-top, V-top connector, straight to the bag, in the fridge, and it worked a dream. So I could do that again, just to put me on. We'll see. So, we're going to have a good sort out tomorrow, and get ready for brewing Friday. That's that. So, what we've been buying? Well, you may remember last week I said about I needed a regulator and a few bits, so we got two, I think they're three metre lengths of 3 16 beer line. We got a roll of, I think that's a two metre length or three metre length of 5 16 beer line. 3 metre length of 3 eighths gas line, 3 eighths 
beer line, not 516s, and 3 8 gas line. Uh, all from uh, brew keg tap, centres and beer mat, and a sticker. And I am looking at getting some stickers done uh, so I can send out a few stickers to people. But I have to come up with a design off me. Yorkshire homebrew. I might just do that rose, Yorkshire homebrew, something like that, we'll see. So we might be getting some stickers done. I know uh, Four Priest Brewing, he's very uh, keen of a sticker for his fridge. Uh, we got a MK4 regulator. Which I'm not getting out of the box, but well, I'll get handle out of the box anyway. <laughs> so, got a regulator, little bag of bits, we got a Quarter to three sixteenths inline reducer, which I'll show you what that goes on in a minute. And we got a an inline. I forget what they call it now. Check unit, I think it is, and that's to put between. It, it goes on your gas line. If anybody doesn't know what they are. So you've got gas in, gas out, and it's basically a one-way valve, and it stops beer coming back up your line and going into your regulator. Uh, so for what it cost, you daft not to have them on really. Uh, I know a lot of people know what they're doing, uh, and I like to think I do, but there's always that chance, and if you get beer in your regulator, it's done for. So we've got one of them, and we got a Nuka tap with the intention of fitting this onto my uh, whole garden pump. And I've just got a standard tap that comes with spring, and uh, these, and I like these because these nozzles, they're interchangeable and you can change this for a stout tap and other taps as well but I was thinking a stout tap and to go along with that I got one of these and a tap handle and that's everything I got from Brew Keg Tap so obviously your spring will go in there And that hooks onto there. But there you go. So that's basically your tap and how it works on there, which I know you know, but there was somebody that doesn't. You've basically got A nut on back, which you take off, and that, and that. So you've basically got that. So you've got that goes in there up to this point, and then on the back of that, oh, sorry, which spacer. There. That'll go in and then they go on back inside. But the problem we've got is that's the hole and that needs to go in there and it just doesn't 
quite fit it's a fraction so we're gonna have a dug out a couple of files of which after I've done this video I'm gonna just file that out big enough it'll not take much because it's literally just thread that's just catching get that in and then this tap can be built back up then I've got everything to do it you may remember I stripped them to back uh, back to metal well they've been repainted now been repainted so that's good to build back up I can do all that get that built back up and I've got enough bits here and with what I've got quite easily do three of my taps probably and my hand pull uh, didn't buy a secondary regulator yet because surprisingly enough this came to a pretty penny uh, and there's other things I'm wanting as well so I'll definitely get one, two, I'll get my hand pulled on, I'll get one of these taps and probably do all this one first. Get this one up, seeing as everything's clean, or will be. Uh, yeah, I'll do all this one first. And because I'm coming straight out of regulator to that, I don't really need my secondary just yet. And then, going forward, I'll start and get some secondaries and, and carry on to other taps. Uh, so that bits I've bought from Broke Egg Tap, uh, I better just put these back together or I'll lose them. And wrong one. That on. That on. That on. And that. Box and the other thing I bought, which going back to me bar renovation, and I did that at the front of my bar here. I said I was going to buy or fit some lights. I left like a 30 to 50 milli void. Well, we uh, got some lights. Just a two metre roll. Of LED lights of which I'm going to fit uh, after this. And they're just basically a plug with the jack. Which then goes to... when I can get it open uh, another jack on this and then that end just clips into there like that and if you look on back, it's got some double sided tape, just pull off, stick on. So I'm hoping that'll just stick straight up under that void. And I have got a plug socket under the barn here, so that's where I'm hoping to plug that in. So, yeah, there are a few bits we've bought. So, over next week, I'll get bits done. I'll video that and show you and uh, hopefully we're going forward now I put one at nights up here you can't quite see it properly there but I put a shelf up with all my, uh, not all, but most of my shot glasses 
just up and that one another box I emptied they're all the what can I say novelty ones as such the plain straight shot glasses I've kept under the bar and I'll probably use them when we for a few people up uh, I did film a little bit I might be able to put a little box up somewhere just showing you what I were on me the water section I filmed uh, showing you a few of them up close so we've slowed down a little bit now but we're still going forward we're still doing jobs and it's coming on I'm happy I just need there's still a few things to sort I'd like to get all my grains uh, sorted properly and labelled up and a few things uh, what else is this oh I picked up well I got them given they were going to bin them and I couldn't let them bin them three of these five litre mini kegs uh, they need a, a clean I think two of them have just got a <laughs> dregger base still in them uh, but question just let me get one of others might save me some time searching on internet these these bungs in top I know you can reuse them but I don't know how long these have been in and they need a clean so does anybody know whoops, where you can get these from the uh, bungs for the top of them I think I haven't checked yet but I'm pretty sure uh, Brew UK do something similar but I'm not sure whether they're the ones that you use a little CO2 bulb bulbs on like a serving handle that goes in them so I haven't looked yet but if anybody knows and they can just leave me a co comment somewhere to get these from I'd appreciate that and I think that's it I don't know whether I'll be filming my brew day I might get bits and bats and just drop it into an home brew Wednesday just show you what we end up doing uh, and I'm looking forward to it I'm looking forward to getting back into my brewing and just back into hobby and just enjoying myself again uh, and I think we'll have to leave it there boys we don't want to bore you too much so yeah we've bought a few bits and over the next week or so I'll start putting my taps together and uh, We'll leave it there, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers. Twelve months for Sheffield United. And I'm sure that we always keep towards the top. When I... To reappoint Stavala Brothman as Home Secretary. The Labour leader, Sakia Starmer, accused him of making a grubby deal to secure his election.